noon. Lunch time. Let's do this! I, I thought yeah. we're, I thought Oscar said Brad, and I was like, who's Brad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, where would you like to sit? Well, By the way, this is a person. Let me do so. Do so? Oh, don't sell the devil. I gotta get my voice changer. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> what? You can hear for me. Okay. Better, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's TRT. Do you find Damien and Vera contemplating a huge slab of unidentified oh, no, time meat? <laughs> Almighty Damien, I know we had our share right, of disagreements Almighty. during this convulsed poaching expedition. <laughs> Wait, that's <laughs> wild. <laughs> oh. I just wish to see Nathan actually make that smile as he talks. Why were you pulling out the brains all by the lips? <laughs> but I trust we can now put our differences behind us and enjoy the fruits of our labors. Doing the meats of our labors. Ah, yes. Together we can enjoy this raw, bloody cut of meat <sighs> as a symbol of our. Wait, raw money? You mean I even gonna try using fire? <laughs> Of course, I use fire. I specifically instructed the chef to prepare this meat by glancing briefly at a lit stove. Did the fire for you touch the meat? What would be the point of that? I could... This fine can only be eaten ultra rare. Oh, hell I can. You wait here while I get my cold air for the <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> That's what makes Damn, so well. Please, let's be reasonable about this. Regarding losing your woman. If we can't come to an agreement, let's appeal to an arbitrary third party killer bitch. And surely make the intelligent choice for us, isn't that right? Uh, what is your intelligence? You're a nine, you should be fine. <laughs> my, my word, the steak is too cooked already. Rub some ice on it and dose it in blood, quick. The only correct way to enjoy steak is after its charred remains have been received from a burning building. That's probably the choice. Like. That's probably <laughs> his. I'm going with the first one. You need your wife. Quite right. Quite right. Someone turn off the heat. Get a frost wizard in here. Fetch me more blood from the blood. Heffern, we need you. I'm afraid this big chunk of me now. Let's hold the back. I assume you read that? <laughs> yes, it's not here. Anyways. Oh darn, guess I'm going to have to enjoy this whole juice steak by myself. Whatever, I'm gonna go bring out a bird so I can eat whatever's on fire. <laughs> Good for you, Damien. Live your best life. Vera slips you a thick stack of cash under the table. Unfortunately, she pays you in Vera bucks. Lord, unfortunately, you're Dock of Vera Bucks is redeemable for four and a half minutes of the intimate eye contact. Juicy. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. So, where do you want to go? <clears throat> All right. Uh, oh, there's a cat? Yeah, the cat is someone you could buy yourself from. So, if you have money. Um, Which yeah, only five bucks. You could also see yeah, an early day. Man. I don't right. know who this is. The mermaid and the ghost. I need my oh. wife. No, I don't want to talk with them again. No, curse you. Polly and Miranda sit together, surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of surf. Huh? Everyone else was good. All right. So wait, you actually got surfs who eat for you? <laughs> and that's what is oddly fitting. This <laughs> uh, disgraceful. Well, of course I found eating to be terrible. Undignified, so I almost never do it. So she starves to death. <laughs> hey, me neither. What other kinds of crazy surfs have you got? Well, I have a safe to go to the bathroom for me. Good treats. Good. I don't know how that <laughs> works, but okay. <laughs> no question to ask you, such a good I was bitching up your back. <laughs> okay, hi, my Eddie. Let me go to the emotions for you. You said for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. I don't even know how silverware can go in alphabetical order. I Force just can't. Nice. <laughs> Get the fuck out of this! <laughs> <laughs> I will also bitch slap you into the sea. I you have a safe surf, or surfing surf, for standing on top of whenever I go surfing. I will get a surf to bitch slap you, actually. <laughs> 
Wow, that's a lot of serfs. The fair amount. Only limit is my imagination. And I surprisingly have no limit for that. Actually, I even have a serf for that. <laughs> I think you might not make a shit. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that was the next actor. <laughs> I was going to make that up, but I didn't think it. You missed it. Imagine you to escape from Satan. So now, I'm all out of ideas. Well, I'm here with the help of N. We could probably think of a dope way, new kind of surf. I, I can't help but think of something racist whenever I see that N. Oh, I'll slap you in the seat. Well, you're on the spot now. What will it be? Uh, for the, uh, for, Jesus. Nathan, what would you meant by racism? I just want to make sure I'm clear on that. Who was that? So you said something about racism? Yeah, yeah. it's Efron's name. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right, so. yeah. I, I thought you were referring to the serves. Puppy no. surf. It's not actually a surf, it's just, like, 50 cute dogs. Or you should get a party surf, Polly. Surf to experience your hangovers for you. Uh... Top one, I'm trying to get waifu. Uh, okay. Are you sure about that? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh! A surf that actually just is all full of cute puppies? Why did not I make my imagination come up with such a marvelous idea? Because he ran away. Oh, jeez, her face. <laughs> I swear. We had an escape. I had him hang that I suspicious of immediately. As a matter of fact, I would, love, I would. Would you like to be my new imaginary star? Hey, it's non existent. They can make up for it and this is the fear of death. Uh, I'm already dead, so it's okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you politely decline uh, Miranda's offer, but agree to the animal shelter to pick out a puppy surf instead. Huzzah! Let's go! Oh, let's go. Uh, What's the low? Uh, frown thing at the bottom, anyway. What? Frown thing at the bottom. Oh, at the bottom. I think that's just internet connection. Oh, uh, shitty internet connection. Punch show. <laughs> You're enjoying your meal in peace when you hear the unstable sound of three throats clearing. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh. Oh. <clears throat> you don't have them. Yes, yeah, Ashko, do you need something? I was doing the voice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, you do? Okay. Uh, yeah, look at that. Are you... Yes, hello. Totally don't sound like that. <laughs> Just go with it. Just go with As it. you know, it is customary for a benevolent witch, Kevin, to have as an ally, a malevolent creature of some sort. And since Liam has apparently decided he's too cool for us now, I mean, because of your incredible resume and good looks. Why, well, like... We're here to <laughs> save the day! Uh, we decide to accept you on a trial basis as our supernatural companion for one adventure. Wow, one whole adventure is sweet. An adventure not to exceed three episodes or eclipse the main plot arc. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Why not then? As a consideration for your willing participation, we'll even allow you your choice of adventures. Three episodes, you can knock out one of these adventures at the end of lunch, and it actually sounds fun. The Coven gives you two options. But there's three episodes. Stop the crime ghost who's been taking over children's bodies and using it to your to rob banks. I've never been. S you have a never <laughs> before seen plan. Or take on the greatest villain of all, income inequality. Um. What is this economic? Yeah, I'm <laughs> tomorrow. I'm gonna dodge that one, chief. You put a stop to the crime's ghost crime the only way you know how. With fake beards. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. Now that all the children have fake beards, crime ghosts can't tell their children. He's got no one to possess. Yeah, that's, that's how it works for sure. <laughs> that was good. Yep, that was totally your plan. You definitely then just start slapping beards on kids and hope for the best. <laughs> Excellent! The day is saved once again thanks to the Coven and our faithful sidekick, Faceless. What's that? You want to know about payment? We're sorry, but the contract clearly states that this is an unpaid internship. Wow. 
contract does say that. Oh well, at least you gained four creativity for your lateral thinking. Nice. All right. Well, I don't have. I barely have much choice here. Um, I mean, it's not hurt, so my guy. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go to the store. Hey, stranger. Oh, oh, my gosh. oh boy. <laughs> oh, did, uh, I thought you were just gonna do the narrative thing for this one. Um, I'll hear when the video comes out. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's go with it. Hey, why would you study and prepare for your future? Right. Cut out there, what? Wait, <laughs> 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 cut out. Just read. Hey, why would you study and prepare for your future when you can come here and buy? Okay, I assume you got that. Yes. Jesus Christ. I am already dead. So, the Bob Ryan. I'm not reading the description of these, you're on your own. Oh, what do you have? Yeah, five cash. These are my items? They're like swipe blank, okay. The body? Um. Rush a novel with an insightful approach to universal knowledge such as love and death. Are sure about this? Always use Wikipedia to get the general idea and still be able to act as if you read it. True. Uh, You're taking acting class for Oscar. Why not? Sexy fake Latin accent. <laughs> Why the hus thing is about being yourself, honey? But Latin accent is a close second, to be honest. Get it. Maybe because it's Hello, hot. Gator. <laughs> Damien will like that. That was charm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he used chart before him, so... You know what? Parfs made her donate to a good cause. Spoiler alert. Good cause is buying me a new phone. Okay. <laughs> that was her voice. I guess. Nathan. Until I know. Wait, what? That's what you're speaking? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Anyways. <laughs> challenge or random? Challenge. Uh, let's do it. Lame challenge. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Everybody choose a brand. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh... Pepsi. Uh, Alright, this one's Quan. Alright, Red Bull, that's Quan S. Yeah, what, what the fuck is a brand? We're just choosing drinks. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's! Okay, I have a brand. Interesting brand. Yes. Uh, Nintendo. I guess that was, yeah. Yay! Player order decided based on how silly a mascot for the selected brand would be. If the selected brand array has a mascot, compare it to the imaginary mascots of the other brands. Alright, so we're going to the clown. <laughs> I have a clown, and Nintendo has really no mascot if you uh, don't like come there. Nintendo's mascot is Reggie. <laughs> but he's gone. Then Mario. <laughs> Pepsi, man, that that's fucking weird in general. Pepsi There's like nothing weird. that can compete with that. <laughs> I know. Uh, Pepsi, man, wins. I, I know last time I got a bowl. <laughs> um, who's second? Oh, uh, you want a creepy ass clown or one of your friends? Nintendo, Nintendo, because you got a clown. So I'm okay. okay. Have you ever seen the the, the the Christmas special commercial for that? Yeah, no. that, that is fucking. It, 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 no, he gives off that creepy space, like to a to a little girl, it's like that kind of face, like right. I'm you. It's, okay. It's literally what it party. looks like. Uh, okay, so the gym is occupied by the girl again. <clears throat> so if you want to buy shit, so I think I will go to the auditorium again. I'm gonna be the most creative, I guess. <laughs> That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the road requires you to be. Doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there. There might be an extraordinary way. You summon the devil, one of many, and make the deal enhance your creativity just a bit. <laughs> you gain too creative. You also lose three years of life as your end of the deal. But who cares? It weren't happening in game anyway. Right. There we go again. Oh, you see, Damien right. about to punch some noob, and suddenly a dimensional portal opens between the two of them. Yo! Oh, this guy. Hey, what the hell? I'm about to punch that noob. Um, Efren, you haven't voiced the second character yet. Oh my gosh, I can track no one talk to the wolf, but okay. Um, hold on, it's blurring up. Oh my God. 
That's funny, what, what kind of anime voice should I give this guy? <laughs> Any. The best anime voice. Oh wait, he's trying to steal your guy. Alright. <clears throat> There'll be plenty of news to punch, my fearsome Panamore, when you are mine. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have traveled across time and taste to find a big commander for my own. And for my bedroom. So you're not looking for me? No, he's stealing your man. <laughs> Do something. Come on, you wanna come over to King if I can kill him? <laughs> okay. Can I just have something? <laughs> No, I was just laughing at what was. Okay, oh, thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't put it quite so crassly. Fucking metal! Oh, I would, and that sounds dope for the metal. This is the right guy's home plan. Let's go. What if Damien goes to another dimension to fucking kill people? How will the he fucking kill people with you? It's only one thing to do. Stop him! Create the prince the entire shitty army using nothing but a. Blender and a grapefruit, okay. Show Dana a picture. The prince's army's wearing clown shoes and assless chaps. I'm supposed to turn away from it? Very <laughs> uh, wise. Which one would be the most creative? Uh, the grapefruit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Squirt in their a eyes. A calendar and a grapefruit. How the fuck? That's your choice. A calendar. A calendar. A what? Colander. Oh, I thought it's a calendar. I heard Oscar's a calendar. Uh, it's a spaghetti strainer. <laughs> I know what it is, Nathan. I... Hey, creative! <laughs> oh, I thought he could. <laughs> you recall a full page glossy photograph you saw in the latest issue of Bad Armies magazine. You pull it out of your backpack and show it to Damien. Depicts the prince's army wearing floppy shoes and ass chaps braiding the opposing forces' hair. One of the best fucking performance fees. Best of all, best of all, I want an army like a steel cube full of crunch. Not this fully mobile tea party. Okay. <clears throat> now, fighting isn't everything. I'll have you know that opposing armies consistently rate my soldiers higher on friendship and customer service than any other. Go get a life! Don't be it. I need to man. Go buy your armies and armor. Pass this. Okay. The prince returns dejectedly to his dimension, hopefully to follow Damien's advice. He gained two fun and a spot. Let's do this! You saved your man. Yay! With photographs. Jeez, this is so very... Alright, I'll be right back. Oscar, fix your, your, your game. I can't do anything about it, and I think it's the Discord, so... Sure, shoot Discord, why are you acting this way? Well, anyways... So, where would you like to go? Hmm... You nice. have 9 in creativity and 9 in smarts. And 6 boldness, so... Well, you only got four charm. And fun and money are average. I'll go with money. I need I need some extra cash to say I find something cool. Okay, to the library. <laughs> that day you spend some time on the library's PC playing some good old online poker. Oh, yeah, I'm part of gambling. <laughs> gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off. So fuck it. You gain two money. Nice. Yay. Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned and only Vera has the antidote. Does this all the time, as how she invites you to hang out. Hey there. Ricardo. There you are. Thank you so much for coming. I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise, and I need a cons... Cons... Consiglier? Oh, when you have trouble, Nathan's not here, but what I do in fucking this Fucking dear. It's simple. It's brilliant. Think... Uber, but for killing people. I call it murder. But it turns out that the mark is flooded with assassination apps. Assassination apps and blood. I need a way to get ahead of the pack, and since you're such a good advisor. Differentiate yourself by being the only service that offers free range. 
organic murderers or virtual marketing. Literally, tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. Be careful. Ooh. Oh, no. You don't want to lose your woman, too. No, but this is hard because I don't know which one would fit for her. Well, it's just best to go with what is your set. What would be either the most smartest or creative? Given those are your uh, know, the whole point of this game is to fake who you are. I know, but the thing is, is one appeases her, one doesn't. I mean, they uh, both could appease, it's just... You need the stat. Go with your heart. So my heart says that... Murder is wrong. Your heart's gay. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally named Killer. Don't lie. <laughs> I'm a killer bitch for a reason. <laughs> so what would be... The, you know, the fact that this is the correct path would be... <laughs> Vera likes killing. Yeah, I feel like the first How one. would you want to murder? I feel like the first one. Okay. You're creative with that. You know, you might be onto something here. You can see the now. Look, these swords so nice. Why don't you st uh, stir up pitchforks? Letting free pistols. Oh, you make a farm? And the corpses. The corpses will make superb compost for our beast poison nursery. Oh, hi. God damn it, why did you come? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch, get the fuck out of here! Hello! <laughs> oh, does someone say the word local, organic, gluten free, and beast folk? Yes, all of those meaningless words and more can be yours if you sign up for my new assassination app. Sorry, I'm strictly opposed to violence as it goes against the poetry of the soul. The poisons are brewed in small batches. Alright, fine. I guess I'll try up, up someone I want to kill. If you want to just give me money, I can select someone to kill on your behalf. Hmm, well, okay. As long as it's organic. <laughs> as Vera accepts Liam's cash, you can tell that this is only a startup long, fruitful business partnership. Vera splits the earnings with you, and you will gain two spots on money. Um, Good sure. job, Carter. Okay, we're like, yeah. Right. I need creativity, but you stole that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Oscar, I hate you so much. <laughs> Next one. I mean, that's what we is. always do. We always hate Oscar because he always takes everything. <laughs> So, what would I you like hate to do? Uh, what's the bold bathroom, right? Huh? Bold, yeah. Oh, yeah, go to the bathroom. Bold. Okay. That day you visit the bathroom ticket number two. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Look at you, you crazy bastard! Getting too bold as and probably one staphylococcus staph infection. <laughs> <laughs> With a slight chance of one SCD. I'm already dead. Who cares? <laughs> Afterwards, Miranda be beckons to you, a darkened uh, corner. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised she found Those me. the worst characters. Over <laughs> <laughs> here, over here. Thought you were gonna try the voice. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot I was doing the voice. No, because I was trying to figure out the word, and then I forgot the voice. What was the voice again? Uh, high pitched woman. I know, but I'm sorry, I'm tired, okay? I'm fucking tired. Fair enough. This one of operation, make Larius popular again. Fuck! <laughs> My god! It's an overwhelming success, it is internet popular. This. <laughs> what is. Now we just need to make him real life popular. Well, he is investing in murder. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> and what better way than. Rob Queen! I'm kidding! I mean, he could be. It's no judging. <laughs> we get the point. Huh? <laughs> Unfortunately, when I asked him to roll for prom, it's a queen. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. He said, and I quote, "Never, ever, ever not in a hundred, hundred years, and that's not an exaggeration because I've been alive for hundreds of years and I never wear a prom queen." So there you go. 
So Queen again, boy, okay? <laughs> Look, we'll just roll with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Queen is a good to be saying he wants us to make him proud, Queen. That's fair. Flex, but okay. <laughs> My first thought was to murder the current prom <laughs> queen. See, murder. Okay. That it's all going full circle. After starting to look at his right prayer, but I couldn't find any bloodline charge to work on. Oh, wife. It's okay. So I suppose we must engage in this democratic election as far as We got to tie everyone off again. No, how can we secure a win for Lena? When he is opposed to running or making any effort to win. Uh, dress up as Liam and give the best campaign speech anyone has ever given. Pay awesome. a million people again. <laughs> Pay people. That's what she does. For, her father does. Do the same thing. Oh, now it's a wall thing with you. Oh, of course. The election. Rigging. 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 Shut up, Rigging. Shut up. Silly me! I was just one selected king. Just someone as wealthy and charismatic as you know, so you can hire a million voters. I know it's gonna be. Uh, sure you do. Totally. You've got lots of money connections. You tell Miranda you'll get right on that. Luckily, what you lack in money, political capital. Well, political ca yeah. Make up for in stolen magical artifacts! Damn, Damn after this, I went to the raid. You put on your robe and wizard hat, crack open a forbidden tome, and bring all the school's janitorial equipment to life! Camp out by the janitor's closet, passing out ballots, broomsticks, and telling the mop buckets who to vote for. Nobody notices the fraud, not the student body, the sentient objects anyway. Oh, okay. So you all watch the prom king election forecast together, and... Damn it! <laughs> Get me now! <laughs> and I watch like the most and dialogue humans. God I mean, damn. this game is random, so. <laughs> I fucking hate my life. Oh, I can't believe it. 6,000 voters for me. And 994,000 voters for a bottle of lemon seeds toilet bowl cleaner. Damn it, I knew we could trade this. I'm, I'll be impressed on the. Ah, oh shit, not this There's one. that word again. <laughs> God, they I've did. been God. I've been God. Taste of the student body. If I wasn't so comprehensively humiliated. Nice going. Have you gotta find a tuxedo that fits a bottle of lemon scented toilet bowl <laughs> cleaner? Lose two charm and one creativity. I do oh, let's go. This. Okay, I made them. You ain't got my choice, so we're gonna go. <laughs> They're the wrong goal. I'm gonna go. Outdoors, try to get fun. That day during recess, you start a half hour ray that goes full crazy. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take your dogs there. <laughs> the dogs were invited. <laughs> <laughs> You're casually chatting with Juan, the small magical Latino cat. You start telling him a oh, hilarious God. story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know, which one? The one involving the beehive, the blow up doll, the president. The penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. One more, but I don't know. I want to call Donald Trump. <laughs> I dig it. Slowly, lots of people start joining you. Here's a story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, 100 people or so burst into hysterical laughter. Turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into two fun. Whoa, I didn't know technology can do that. Nice app. She's bad. Raising yeah, Ghibli at Miranda, and a flash of otherworldly light blinds you. When your vision glares, you see a great rift has opened in time and space, standing in the middle of it. Lame lime? <laughs> I found that lime works. Limes. Damn you, lime. No wonder the lemon bottle got that many votes in one. Greetings, okay. my love. Oh god. I'm bad. <laughs> It's well, me, Prince of the Other it. World, and I am here to fulfill an ancient prophecy. Oh, how majestic! The prophecy? How exciting! Amigo, what sort of prophecy is it? It's a is a prophecy of love. Bro, this guy's a man whore. <laughs> <laughs> he went after my man, now he's after your girl, Efren. Because they're both anime. <laughs> oh boy, here it comes. 
Nathan, please. <laughs> Legends foretell a great beauty with the hair of an angel and the scales of a fish. A beauty who I am distant to marry. <gasps> but that was also the perfect description of me. Could it be that I am the great beauty described in the prophecy? Get you, uh, or you're not. I'm not cringe at this one. I swear. What the heck? Well, yes. That's sort of what I was trying to imply. Now come with me to my realm, where we may plan a magnificent wedding. You can't let him get away with this. But that prophecy is hard to argue with. What argument you can't think of is... Hair of an angel. Hair of a goddess. But the fish scale of the handful of angel hair pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The creative. Why that? <laughs> that. Technically, the first prophecy. Why are you so quiet? I'm sorry, my beloved. But my hands are bound by the ties of fate. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the prince sadly retreats to his realm to marry a handful of fishy pasta. You prepare to apologize to Miranda, but she doesn't look too put out. Oh, my Actually, I'm fine. Truly, you saved me from a terrible fate. Look at that guy! Along with me. I suspect that any man willing to marry a handful of cold, scaly pasta is not likely to be a good husband, literally. Even if he was your friend. You have a lot of pastas left over from your clever trick. Share it with Miranda and all your friends. You gained two smarts and one creativity. You gained back what you lost. <laughs> we can. Oh. Something happened to... Yeah, the N-word. <laughs> okay. Um, My N. <laughs> that weekend, you go party hard with Polly, Vera, Damien, Liam, Mander, and Killer Bitch. Hey, awesome. Oh, I guess I was the word. <laughs> wow, okay, wow. You have a great time at the very popular nightclub Apollo. That's named because despite being the hottest club on weekends, an actual temple of the god Apollo on weekdays. Oh. No good party ends the ends when the nightclub closes. So at 6 a.m. you decide to just hang out in nearby park, drinking and chatting. Oh that wasn't perfect, hold on. Oh god. Oh, shit, I forgot it. It's all of us, we're all voicing. <laughs> yeah, nice. Can I die? Yeah, up. <laughs> die. It's my day, Ricardo. Okay. Uh -huh. You betcha. Bear and I have some great laughs doing some good old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say it. Stay warm. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going home. Oh, you don't even get something. <laughs> yeah! Oh. There we go. Damn you. <laughs> What? It's a game. We have, you know, those douchebags that steal your drink and you leave it unattended for two seconds. Oh, sure. We drink half our glasses and then put our bleach in them. <laughs> if people are cool, then the club staff just take them and throw them in the trash after a while. But if someone wants to play smart, then we fucking bleach those. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> I love her even more! <laughs> Plus, butt bleaching. <laughs> Remind me never to get on your bad side, you two. Anyway, what should we do now? Know any cool after parties? I think that douchebag mummy said something about an after party at some nearby catacombs. Oh, but remember, he got bleached. Right, then I have got nothing. But this cannot end without a wacky situation that forces one of my friends to make a hard choice that leads to an absurd outcome. Yes, I get to ruin everyone's no life. No sooner has Liam finished his thought, and a cloud of physical green smoke appears <gasps> from nowhere, and a groovy bearded guy emerges from it. Is, he a door? Is that you? Hey <laughs> My name is Joe the Laser! I'm a like a laser wizard, so I have a quest. A quest of teaching you how to properly dance to a hit song! Here we go. So, do you remember the classic early 
2010's oh, yes. staple party rock anthem by LMFO. Today I'm gonna teach you how to laser shuffle to it. One of you come, demonstrate the shuffle with me. Hard pass. I'm more of a voyager myself. Meh, I have no problem dancing with strangers with magical powers in parks. Also, shuffling's kind of my thing. Damon plays the song on his phone. Polly does some dope ass shuffling. The wizard sinks an arrangement of lasers with her so crazy that pigeons start falling out of nearby trees. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. Just wow. Wow, indeed, my fellow young strangers. So my quest is to pass this knowledge onto you. But who could take on such an important burden? Paul, Fortunately, at that moment, literally. you were smelling your own armpit. Your hand was raised, so now everyone's watching you. Fortunately, you're pretty decent at shuffling. But whose laser magic will best complement your dance? Oh. So, me, Oscar laser magic skills Carter. are so strong, they got banned from the local laser tag place? Oh. Oh, Ricardo, you're pretty sure you heard Killer Bitch got laser hair removal last week, so she must still have some laser remnants in her body. You guys gotta fight over this. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to dance with me? I mean, this is your choice, my friend. <laughs> okay. Who do you think is the best partner to be with you to do this um, dance? I jumped out. Thank God I jumped out. You're taking okay. the acting classes. Okay. Smart. I have some, okay. And so the two of you start this very weird and specific laser-based party ritual. Your shuffling kicks ass, and Commander's laser magic is just too strong. So strong that this event won't be included in the Japanese version of the game. What? There's a Japanese version? <laughs> avoid giving kids t-shirts. Ha, Pokemon! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that is the reference! <laughs> Do you not remember that? I forgot about it! Everyone remembers that horrifying moment when kids got seizures. I wish it was on American still. Oh, this is otherworldly. You know what? I agree. One fucking hundred percent. See, I helped you. What a master! Full and splendid display of laser magic. You're the chosen one, says Joe the Laser. I have to reveal something to you. I was a wizard in disguise all this time. Oh, who else? I was secretly testing you to find out if you were pure of heart and strong of labor. You literally just told us you were a wizard. Whatever, I'm super drunk. The important thing is, you passed my test! Then what's our prize? Is it seven dolphins? A car? A car made of seven dolphins? <laughs> what the fuck? The wizard ignores Polly, puts his hand over you and Commander's shoulder, and whispers, the prize is earning the respect of your friends. And now that I've found the chosen ones, time in this world come to an end. He wings at you and then he slowly emotionally evaporates. Damn. That paper confused the strong smell of cheap rum. Gross. Did he just die? I, I guess. <laughs> Apparently so. Or maybe he's a part of us now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry, Ricardo. You're Did you ever read it, by the way? Us. Yes! Oh god. That's what he out. said! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we will always remember Joe the Laser. Let's pay our respects by shuffling. He bursts into more awesome shuffling laser magic. A cheap rum scented breeze makes him look at the sky. There you see a cloud shaped like his face, winking at you. Creepy! Still, you and Commander gained fun and creativity thanks to Joe the Laser. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Oscar. You're welcome. Wants to do Chandler, a challenge. Chandler, Chandler. Yeah, sure. Everybody choose a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Scary Spike movie. Up. Uh, Hangover. Halfway. Oh, I said it's fun job movie. No. Oh, oh, there's a uh, More Lego movie. Okay. That's the only movie I can think of at the top of my head. order decided based on how idiotic. Would be to do a 10 hour remake of the selected movie. Oh god, everything is awesome for fucking 10 hours! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Idiotic. Uh, and one scare movie already be idiotic enough. I mean. 
With all the movies combined, it's basically a 10-hour remake of itself, <laughs> so it's not too idiotic to do. Yeah. I mean, Spongebob movie, I wouldn't completely doubt them doing. I know. It'd be idiotic for them to remake the Lego movie, considering it just came out for the second time. And what was your movie, Nathan? Hangover. The majority of that, of that hour is just them sleeping. Basically, that. Just ten, it's a ten-hour remake, but eight hours of it's just them sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and it's idiotic. <laughs> so we all agree, Nathan. Did. <laughs> yeah. What will come next? Mine was just like listening to that fucking song for like almost the majority of the time, just like. <laughs> it's just gonna be so painful. So would that be idiotic or? I mean, that would kind of be. So, turn it up. Why? I like the other side. Um, because I feel like I this is them. just a three-way right now. That friend was fun for him. Mars, bald, bald, bald. You're so quiet. I can't hear what your argument is. He's just <laughs> screaming, bald, bald, bald. Mars! Ten hours of screaming, bald. <laughs> <laughs> that would be idiotic. I'd watch that remake. Yeah, okay, so Ephraim. Great. And between I don't you two, much of scary movie. It wouldn't be idiotic to remake it, considering once last time they re they released scary. I got a few things. Hold up, hold up. Okay. Right. Oh my gosh, When they remake this last? <laughs> oh, I put. Oh, of course, they use scary movies. Scary movies. Um, the I just say go go with mine, just just because. Okay. So I'm last in the Eight two. Alright, I didn't find the answer I wanted, but it's over. Okay. Alright, let's go. Um I'll go to just go outdoors and try to get my fun up. That day during recess will start another half hour of grave that goes full crazy as usual. Everything's fine until Juan the small magical Latino cat asked. What do you think you're doing? No, your business, Juan. You can get deported anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Damn, you don't really yeah. You suck at dancing. But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance like move. You. Apparently called the Groovy Mosaka. Juan looks at you and... He asks you to teach him the Groovy Mosaka. In no time, half party is following your steps and join the Groovy Mosaka. All together. It's a party to remember. You're getting too fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Woo! <laughs> Notice Vera and Miranda at the edge of the oh, rave wow. with their arms <laughs> crossed. <laughs> Sorry, Ricardo. <Ricardo. laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, over I to gonna try drink. to find out what's up. <laughs> I truly wanted to be excited about this about the rolling event, but I was I'll say what we have both been both thinking, this rave looks like a techno trash fire. <laughs> <laughs> I did not wish to be rude, but it is true. I want to hang out and have a good time, but I can't relax in this chaotic environment. Plus, I don't have my shirt here. Screw you, you're a trash wife. <laughs> I put some thought into this. I think that the problem is a lack of color coordination. It's almost always is. That's why my father fought, painted everyone in the kingdom Aquamarine. But you're not Aquamarine. What? <laughs> oh god. I'm an exception, so I'm pretty. But we have no legal authority at the grave. How will we ever coordinate the, their colors? That's where I'm stuck right now, frankly. If only there were a subway. Filter everyone through this dangerous magic prism. Or color seeking German sheep shepherds. <laughs> That's a hard one. As much as I like dogs, that would make less people at the party, wouldn't it? Filter everyone through. That was a smart thing. Yeah, 15. I don't want to be smart, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that was just a, like a dice roll check, and because he had the smart. I guess. Ah. You pull out the prism of color separation that you crafted in your app attack fashion class. AP. Yeah, like we're calling the whole thing app. 
you toss it into the center of the dance, and it lights up like an extremely deadly disco ball. Oh god. Look, it's sucking in students and spitting them out in lines according to the color of their outfits. Why are they screaming? Does that mean it's working? I guess. Yes, that's what that means. The prelim destroys several students because they can't determine the primary color of their outfits, but that's what they get for not matching and getting too charm and smarts. I can um, usually get a lot sure. of people. <laughs> I'm taking... I need... Need... Creativity. Uh, creativity. Yeah, I'm good. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that day, while rehearsing for the class play, you did a terrific job at acting. Ha! You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses speaks out. Damn, roses aren't valid currency or stat in this game. Can I sell them? Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm, same seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet, you get two creativity. That's like 3.5 for the one creativity. When you go to remove your costume, you see Scott still wearing his tree suit. You haven't seen a tree look this bum since Woody, the ant's parents. We're cut down to make way for that mega mall. Yeah, Scott, what's wrong? Whoa! Oh, no one. Oh, we never we have a voice up. Yeah, um. I'm out, I'm out, fuck this shit, I'm out. Wait, we're, uh, Nathan. You've only yeah. been voicing Damien, huh? Pretty much, so the shopkeep, that wasn't even really a voice. Okay, here we go. Uh, I gotta find a decent voice changer real quick. Okay. How about... <laughs> uh, Cause I'm wrong, it's not like we ever used our own characters to voice. True. I really thought it was gonna be an important part of this play, bro. I mean, trees are important, right? They get oxygen and shade. Can't you can pee on them. <laughs> What a Plus, the director called me an Atrezzo. Sounds fancier than actor. So, I don't know why I feel so useless. That was. God damn it! Atrezzo <laughs> means. You're the main character, Carta. <laughs> Apparently. I'm a prop, you imbecile. You're not an actor. You're scenery. 